Hi, and welcome on Warning Alert World Channel. Follow us for the latest global news and natural disasters in 2022. China is saying it will extend its military drills around Taiwan for an unspecified amount of time. This is Taiwan's defense force conducts live fire drills of its own today. Eunice Yoon joins us now from Beijing. Eunice, what can you tell us? Well, Kayla, Taiwan is accusing China of using Speaker Pelosi's visit as a pretext to practice a possible invasion. The Thailand's foreign minister said that his government believes that China's aim is to upend the status quo in the Taiwan Strait and realize what he described as a geostrategic goal to be a seafaring power in the region. Now, China's military announced fresh drills for another day. This time, they said focusing on blockades. Excuse me for interrupting the video, but I have to communicate something very important to you, after which I will resume the video. I'm sure you realize that we live the days when everything seems to be too confusing. And the most important is to achieve the best benefit for us and our loved ones. Our lives, healthy, safety, and tranquility, definitely it's the most important. Soon money will no longer have power, and all the basic things we need in our daily lives will be hard to find. That is why it is good to prepare now, while we have time. That's why I'm guiding you to follow us and be up to date with the last informations that happen in the world and be prepared with the necessary tools. At the link in the description you will find what you need to prepare for what is to come. Share with your loved ones the videos that you think can be useful and especially the books and survival tools that will be useful to them. I'm waiting for your comments to tell me what you think about the free books and other survival tools. Okay. Now let's go back to the video. As well as logistics resupply. Now these additional drills come as the PLA said that it completed uh, practicing anti-submarine and sea assault tactics on Monday in an apparent effort to target U.S. support. And also as the military continues its live fire exercises in the waters off the Korean peninsula near Japan. Now Taiwan's foreign minister has vowed that he won't and the island won't be intimidated. Uh, the island has been practicing its own fresh drills, uh, saying that it's a simulation of, an, of uh, how to defend in the case of a Chinese invasion. The island is going to be holding another set of drills later this week. And President Biden had said overnight that he wasn't worried about Taiwan. And there is maybe a little bit of hope here and some a reason for optimism. Uh, Taiwan said again, so far, no Chinese forces have entered Taiwan's territorial airspace or waters, and that's defined as within 12 nautical miles of land. So that's something that Taiwan officials had feared, and so far it doesn't look as though it's happened, at least not yet. Guys? Eunice, that comment from President Biden, uh, he said that he's worried about the recent actions by China, but I don't think they're going to do anything more near Taiwan. Do we have any reason to believe that that's true? Well, yeah, there are plenty of reasons why that uh, would be true, and that is that uh, it, at the end of the day, for China, it wouldn't necessarily be good to continue to escalate the tensions with Taiwan and then potentially lead to some sort of miscalculation, and then uh, you're in a conflict at a time when China is already looking quite vulnerable when it comes to the economy. So that's not something that China would want to have. At the same time, they have been escalating this show of force, mainly because they want to send a message to the West that uh, Taiwan is definitely part of China and China does not want that to be changed. And also to message domestically here that um, despite some criticism that people have had publicly, that uh, China is the one in control and that China is strong in the world. Yeah.